Sunday. We don't have the rock formations in most spots like that, but beach erosion, uh, coastal land erosion. We're talking about some of the inlets, some flooding as well. Let's talk about when you can get outdoors because there are going to be some drastic changes this morning. You want to get the lawn mown or no? It's a go with the mow. Same with this afternoon with just some increasing clouds. It's a no go for tomorrow. Not only will they have the rain and the chill, but eventually some wind. Most of the wind, though, coming Sunday night into Monday, and it's a little iffy here. We will start off with some rain showers and then east of Lake Ontario, some lake effect rain and snow. We have a lot in our seven day forecast locally nice and dry. Our next weather maker is this long front that's producing snow there in western Ohio. Most of us will not see the flakes. I think it'll be confined to the higher elevations, but look at this swath of rainfall in advance of a cold front. We are picking up Gulf of Mexico moisture and transporting it into central New York. There will be this front coming in tonight and tomorrow morning, but more importantly, another wave of low pressure forms today in the Gulf of Mexico rides up along that front to our east and it's going to bring back into central New York some heavier rain Sunday night and because it's going to be prolonged 24 30 36 hours of rainfall some of it heavy at times there's the potential for flash flooding maybe even some river flooding on Monday so we'll have to watch out at least a lot of this is taking place on the weekend and by Monday morning's commute beginning to settle down not the wind but at least the rainfall temperatures in advance of the front will be nice and mild we're at 49 it's 55 in Pittsburgh I think we're shooting for 70 so it's a one day Indian summer pattern here before you get those temperatures dropping off you can see why it's snowing out there to the west so here's what you need to know do whatever you can to get outside today near 70 degrees awesome weather then what a difference a day makes. You know, this is Jekyll and Hyde weather the weekend before Halloween. We are seeing uh, drastically different conditions with the rain, the raw weather, 20 degrees cooler with rain heavy at times, flooding and strong winds are likely for Sunday night. So here's the future cast four o'clock this afternoon. Central New York still dry, mostly cloudy. We'll watch that rain from Western New York moving in during the evening. Now it won't be until late night for Otsego County into southern Herkimer County. So it'll be a while before you get wet. The rain picks up in intensity over the Finger Lakes late night. So we already start to see some rain heavy at times and tomorrow a washout rain heavy at times. The wind won't be a problem until Sunday night. That's when the winds could gust to 60 miles per hour and Sunday night the rainfall picking up once again. So your forecast for today 70 degrees increasing clouds. It is breezy. It is mild by far the better of the two weekend days. Now our seven day forecast is showing tomorrow falling to 50 with flooding possible strong winds for Sunday night to Monday early Monday some rain showers then partial sunshine. It's still on the chilly side at 51 with strong winds east of Lake Ontario. We get some lake effect rain showers and higher elevation snow showers. That's going to be for the Tug Hill and the Adirondacks. Then on Tuesday, lake effect rain showers and higher elevation snow showers continue east of the lake. For the rest of us, it could be an isolated shower in the morning and midday, but then we dry out. So trick or treating for most of us looks dry. It will be breezy. It will be in the upper 40s, so a little on the chilly side. Okay, and uh, let's celebrate.